Welcome back to another episode of Silent Pals Go to the Movies. This is another Throwback Thursday review and today I'm going to be reviewing Run Lola Run and just a fair warning there's going to be spoilers up ahead so you've been warned. After a botched money delivery Lola has 20 minutes to come up with 100,000 marks. I am doing this episode of solo because Tuli is busy so check out his Twitch channel to see what he is working on. Social media links are below in the description. So let's begin with my pros for this movie. It's a fast moving film with a simple story. What do I mean by this? Well, the story is easy to follow. Main character Lola needs money for her boyfriend Manny, 100,000 marks, in less than 20 minutes. Nothing complex. And what I mean by fast moving is Lola has a time limit. Well, sort of think of it as a puzzle. You're trying to figure out the right solution but if you get it wrong you get to do it over again until you get the right answer but the rules stay the same 20 minutes and 100,000 marks so all this along with the soundtrack the colors red being Lola yellow being Manny and the transitions the edits wipes cuts fades and etc makes this a movie that builds on suspense and seems as a fast-paced movie also what I like is that when Lola is running around the city it's just not concentrating on her it's concentrating on on people she runs into illustrating the path that she takes every time affects people different ways it also brings the idea of string theory and how what you take a path affects other people not just yourself also my next point is i love how they did the ending credits that they roll back instead of rolling from up to down so this is really nice of them how they don't play with the norms they kind of play outside the box my next point is that if you are a fan of a repeat relive rewind kind of movies then you might want to give this movie a try. The character Lola and Manny relive the same path over in search of the right one in which they both can live and be happy together. Emphasis on live. Anime fans think of ReZero. Game fans think of Zelda Majora's Mask. Interesting side note for the game fans. Yoshiaki Koizumi, the game developer for Majora's Mask, said that Run Lola Run was one of the inspirations behind the game. So if you think about it, this movie inspired the game. If you're a gamer, you might want to give this movie a try too. Now, a side note for the movie fans the director Tom Kaiker included many spirals in the movie such as the bar sign behind Manny when he's in the phone booth talking to Lola and Lola when she's running down the staircase and the roulette table in the casino why because Tom is a fan of Hitchcock's movie Vertical that movie has a motif of spirals in it so this is his kind of way to play tribute to that movie so now let's move on to my cons I'm going to point out some of these things that really did not bug me that much but I just want to basically be fair and point something out that might have stood out you know you kind of question in the movie first off is why did they have to change the style from live action to cartoon illustrations as Lola was running down the stairs and only that scene I mean we did see it in the opening scenes but that's fine because that's during the credits but in the movie itself we only see it when she's running down the staircase if it was placed throughout the movie in different scenes when she's running through the city as a cartoon character I would appreciate it but if it was just placed there to show significance of the spiral then I think it's just just basically a waste of time and waste of budget it's kind of just awkwardly placed and that's my personal opinion as for when Lola's running through the city and she bumps into people and we see the flashes of what these people end up doing such as the lady with the stroller the guy with the stolen bike I feel it would make sense to recap them during the ending credits reason being I would like to know what happens to them in more detail but not at the cost of the film time because the film is about Lola and not about them so at the end in my mind it makes sense for them to to recap what happened to these individuals just to show that they did end up in the right path as Lola ended up in hers. Also I would like to know what happened to the homeless guy because now he has Manny's gun so what happened to him? Maybe a sequel but now thinking about it it's too late to make a sequel for this movie. So in that sense I would like them to have added a little bit at the end during the credits see how the guy ended up. I wanted to see what he did with the gun down the line. Remember these are just some points that I'm making. I'm being picky. I'm just overthinking it I enjoyed this film overall if you decide to give this movie a try do yourself a favor and watch it with subtitles and in the original audio which is German do not I repeat do not watch it dubbed you will be regretting it because this movie has been voted worst dub movie ever in English so there that's my warning for you people who want to watch this movie in English don't do it watch it in the original audio with subtitles as for my final grade this movie is going to get a 7 out of 10 for me some parts with dialogue seems sort of slow I will give you that but I attribute it because we've been seeing Lola run throughout the scenes and I think that she's giving us a little time to catch our breath so that way we can keep up with her so that's going to do it for this review of Run Lola Run 
please join us next time when we're going to review Robocop. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Murphy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find our social media links below. And like always, keep watching movies.